Her main influence as far we do Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching me. This is another edition of No Hold Bad with IT. My name is Etunu. So how are we doing people? I want to lend my voice to <clears throat> something that's going on in Nigeria. A few days ago, very week now, we had the sudden, sudden death of Herbert Wigwe, his wife, and uh, his first son, yeah, and one of his uh, friends that was on board that ill fitted a chopper. The chopper dropped at the border of California and, and Las Vegas. You know, they were going to watch the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is, um, is, a, is a sporting event in America and is a big deal too. So this, so our heart goes to this family, and I can't even, I can't even imagine what is going on with their family right now because this is a more than double, double tragedy. The family of the wife, the his own family, his agent, aged parent, you know, the Okubajo that was that was also. Uh, I was also on the ill-fated uh, crash. It's so, it's so, it's so, it's so sad. It's so sad. So I cannot show the images. I'm sure some of you may have seen it on the internet. The images of the uh, of the um, site of the crash. It's uh, it's it was. It was a, it was serious, you know. I, I personally don't think that a finger can be, can be brought out from that site. It was all, you know, everything was just gone. Like I said, I had goes to the, you know, to the family. But after this incident happened, a lot of things has been thrown out into the social media. One of it is a video I wanted to watch. Uh, when after we, after we done watching it, I want to actually play two videos. After we done we watch this one first, and I will make some um, assertions, and then we will move on from there. Let's go. This is um, for the judge. Uh, if you don't know him, I would I would tell you a little bit about him later, okay? All of them stupendously wealthy now. We went, who became MD of uh, Assets Bank. Eh? Immediately, uh, the other young man left. Has now established a university. He has the temerity to be advertising that university on Because the raw 
rottenness started from that. That has been going on for years. But it has exploded now on our faces. And what a mental Have you ever seen a central bank of any country give you personal loan to individuals? Have we mad? What, what, was, what was going on in his head? Come on, China Bank. Okay, that that video, <clears throat> for the record, is not is is not new. Because I saw some comments on the social media that okay, why is he talking now and all that and all that. That video is not new. Actually, that's that video I plays. Uh, the sources Sarah and reporters. It was from their archive. All right. I don't know the specific date of that interview, but it's not. It's not new. But the thing is that a lot of things have happened in Nigeria over time. Uh, but the judge was a military administrator in Lagos and on those state at a point. And he said some rottenness has started uh, in Nigeria. It started from independence. He too, I've said it on this channel before. But the judge is not exonerated from the rot in Nigeria. When he left uh, on those states, when he was leaving rather, he was asked how he will be remembered. And he said he will want on those states to remember that a Lagos boy passed through on those states. Yes. Um, the the what's it called in you know, those states the office of oil palm and old white glass were places where these people messed up the military they they did a lot of atrocities in that place a lot of money was moved around today those companies are no longer there so if we want to trace um corruption in nigeria we will trace it back to independence it's not about uh, what we were and this cohort did alone. For the record, this video, this interview was was done before we were died. Now, if we see <clears throat> all the, we, some of you have seen a lot of things that has been going on. His house shown, his uh, properties being displayed on the social media. If you have not seen it, I will show you his house now that he moved into this last December. And I'm wondering if it is a sane country, if Nigeria were to be a sane country, it would be questioned that, okay, what is the source of this, this money? Where I, in, the, in the US where I live, your bank will see some kind of movement in your account and they will call you. Yes. If people, I will give you an instance. Someone had a birthday and they were give, giving, sending gifts to her. We have a system here that we call, system of transferring of money that we call Zelle, uh, Z-E-W-E-L-E. -E -E. And so the person, you don't have to give your account number to someone for you to receive money through Zelle. If the person has your phone number or your email, whatever, we, either of the ones, Without of these two, you register with, with your bank, with, you register Zelle with your bank. The person can send money to you. It doesn't have to have your account number. So, this person had a birthday and friends were sending money to her account, $50 here, $20 there, $100 there. Do you know that the bank called her and said, hey, what's going on? What's your job? What are you doing? And she said, okay, this is what I do. Said, okay, there has been a lot of uh, transfers into your account. What's going on? That is the US. So I'm not saying they don't have their own problem, but no individual can have this kind of thing. Let me show you the house then. Uh, okay, let me continue to talk. I'll show you the house right now. That they will not, questions will not be asked. So it's only in Nigeria that things can just go on like that. Let me show you. Okay. As I 
aus. Interior. And this video was specifically even done by him before he died because it's um, they use a chopper or something to do the all the area shots and all that. Art collections, gym, Is it a clinic or what? So, every clinic, what? Okay, I think we've, we've seen enough. 
Now, this suggested to me that this guy was a man who would like to show off because nobody can do this recording behind him. At a point, a chopper was used to take the aerial view of the house. Yes. And, and I'm wondering, what is all this for? Is it for us to... I don't know. Maybe because I'm not, I don't have billions yet. Is it for us to sleep and wake up? What is all that? What? I'm wondering, the, the money that would be used to clean this house alone would be a big deal. Nigeria is a place where there are so much dust in the air. So it will require maintenance, cleaning. Now, um, Mrs. Azikwe's wife, um, Zika Azikwe, you know, we call him Zika of Africa. We remember him. After his death, his wife granted an interview and she said, a house it was like a ghost, a ghost house, that there are rooms in that house that that she has not opened in two years i will begin to wonder if our parents our forefathers our grandparents rather <clears throat> if they built massively like that why what do we need it for in this in this generation in a generation where children don't even our children even have their own stuffs before they are they become adults it's in those days that you say, okay, you want to, you want to give property to your children and all that. Now, things are moving so fast, things are evolving so fast that the TV you used last year, another model is out. So by the time your children are grown, what you think you have and you are reserving for them has become old school. They don't want to see them. They don't want to look at them twice. So if a man builds a house like this, people say the house is worth $10 billion. What is the source of the money? Those are the things. And yeah, granted, we'll say, I don't talk ill of the dead. Yeah, but truth must be told. This at the, the dollar today in Nigeria is over, it's over 1,600. Yes, so, and it's, the ripple effect is affecting the people. People are hungry in Nigeria. Why? Because everything is imported. And traders, people that are in business, they have to source for dollars in the black market. That's why things are expensive. Like, let me just explain to you. They say the rice is now 75 or 80,000 naira. When they source for dollars in the black market, that's what Bode just mentioned there, that people who need dollars, they can't find forex in the, in the banks. They have to resort to black market to to source for dollars and when they do that and they take it out to buy things and bring in come on it is the consumers that will bear the brunt of that that is that is just the truth because nigeria is not producing anything just few months ago pharmaceuticals left nigeria so medications drugs in nigeria is now household items i did a video on it then all your maclean's your blue butter and all those stuff medications they 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 are they will i mean their prices will go through the roof because nothing is being done in that place even now because of insecurities farmers cannot go to the to the to the to the farm people are afraid to farm so things are expensive i'm just afraid for the possible things that can happen if if nothing is done concerning what is going on in nigeria and the only thing that can be done is is production that's the only production is the only thing that a country will will, will be involving that will make the people to live as they should and i saw I, and again i saw some i saw some i saw a write-up somebody sent me the write-up was from an anonymous and he I will, i'm just going to I'm, I'm going to read it to you so that you can you can you can hear what this person said concerning concerning this same thing we are talking about concerning this guy. He said, unfortunately, we have lost an Iroko tree. Definitely, the elogies should not make God look bad. 
May God comfort his aged parents. Amen. It's a tough one for them. May God comfort the two children left behind and not make this to affect their destiny. Amen. May God not visit the sins of the father on the rest of the children. Take note. This is expected. It is expected that rocks would be thrown at me for this. No problem. That's, that's the writer. Truth has to be told as I know it. AIG knows the truth. There is referring to they call AIG Mokwede. Mokwede was the one that owned an intercontinental bank that we uh, was said to have acquired. So they short they usually shorting name to AIG. So when I say AIG is not your inspector general of police, okay? <laughs> so AIG knows the truth, except you want to be in denial. You guys have done very well, but it is not without hurting and betraying people who trusted you. Herbert's death will haunt AIG for life. God will always be God. Mm. Now, he continues. He continues. This, okay. Okay. Not, there's some things he wrote that I didn't even try to. Okay. There are three old men who put in decades of sweat to build their banks. Not even an atom of credit is given to any of these original founders today in what Access Bank is today. To the world, you can be a whiskey, but to God, we are all pawns in his hands. And he judges our heart. How can you play God and wipe off the foot footprints of sweat and labor. I do not want to talk about Herbert and as a boss. That's for staff of Access Bank to talk about. When I heard about his death, the way he left gave me a shock and a wake-up call that all are, that all hearts are open to God. It is a compound tragedy that I would not wish for my enemy, husband, wife, and first son. God cannot be this heartless and inconsiderate of all the good deeds of Herbert. This is probably the con conclusion atheists will quickly come to because of their poor understanding of God's factor. Mm. God's factor. God has spoken again and loud enough it is left for those still alive to make restitution. Hmm. Vainly, I mean, vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. One thing is sure, God will always be God. Not to take everything away from Herbert. He, excuse me, he was visionary, brilliant, and ambitious. He could have still achieved a lot with decency and consideration. Betrayal is a spiritual sin. Mm. Mm. That is deep. Okay. And it goes on. Nobody is talking about how Igwe and AIG backstabbed Erastus Sakibola to take over Intercontinental Bank. Hmm. Akimbola took Herbert and AIG in as his as sons and confided in them deeply. He loved them to high heavens. Unfortunately, he exposed himself to over ambitious young men and cynical and young men with cynical motives. He saved Access Bank from going down by supporting them financially with intercontinental funds. They both turned around to conspire with Sanusi to fraudulently take over intercontinental with the support of this Peter side in what it is the biggest fraudulent takeover in Nigeria. It all not it's it all not what Atedo is saying in this video about C 
saving intercontinental. I think it was the fact, it is a comment on a video. Okay, you can only lie to the ignorant world. God cannot be deceived. Atedo never wanted intercontinental to survive. As at, at the time assets bought intercontinental, there was still owing intercontinental over 15 billion naira. And they bought intercontinental for 50 billion. Fraud and betrayal. That is deep. And again, I came across I came across another uh, somebody sent me is is a screenshot claiming that uh, sometimes in October last year the, 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 it was dated and uh, December 30. This is a screenshot by some anonymous um, collect collective. All right. Okay. So he goes. It reads that a man with name Herbert Hugo is a target for elimination. We understand the man is currently a chairman of a bank with the name Accessibility Bank in Nigeria. I know that accessibility of them. It's been programmed to happen the coming week, months. This plan is orchestrated by certain Aigboje, AIG Imokwede, like AIG Imokwede who believe the existence of the said man is a threat to his own emergence. Before now, Aibuji AIG Mokude already meet with the man Herbert Igwe threatening to take him down if he doesn't comply and resign his position. The man Aibuji AIG Mokude has now contacted assassins and other people who he believe will help him facilitate his plans. He take down his, his plans to take down Herbert Wigwe in the phone call to a certain Mr. Yusuf. He said, take him out alongside his family. Spare no one. The man's the, the man's the said man should be made to understand the situation as it's a terrible one. Share this and make sure it gets to the man in question will remain anonymous. This is it. Anonymous. Hmm. So, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. The, they say there will be investigation as to the cause of the, of the crash and all that. But then, what is done has been done. This man, uh, Wigwe, was a member of um, RCCG, Redeemed Christian Church of God, City of David, in Nikoi, Lagos. And I have I've heard about how he, he really put him into the church, you know. And I'm wondering, at what point? At what point should church leaders ask questions? You know, when people begin to come in with so much money uh, into the church, at what point should church leaders ask questions? Okay, at what point should they call their parishioners and say, hey, what do you do? Uh, is, this, is this this about your any salary or being a bank executive? What's going on? At what point? Please let me know in the comment section. And Nigerians, when you pray that uh, God should deal with enemies of Nigeria, uh, be careful when the answers begin to come. I'm not insinuating anything, but <laughs> if what is being done in Nigeria banks is anything to go by, the, the effect is what is being felt by ordinary person on the street. Somebody sent me a video yesterday of a woman who fainted. You know, she had the baby strapped at her back and she was coughing pure water. She fainted that she has not, she and her three children has not eaten in three days. Yes. People are dropping dead and dying. So, there is a ripple effect of what leaders are doing. 
Yeah, it is. So when you pray that God deal with the enemies of Nigeria, when he, be, he has begun to answer, he always answers prayers. When he answers some, don't accuse him again as, oh God, why, why, why? Because God can choose to answer our, uh, our prayers anyhow he wants to. Trust me. Anyhow. Anyhow. So, if he choose to answer anyhow by whatever, please give this video thumbs up. You know, let's say when you see videos on YouTube, give thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It's FOC, free of charge, all right? So, as, like I said, when God answer uh, prayers, don't blame him again for answering prayers. And when things happen, I, I personally have... Um, I have uh, um, a thing that when things happen, I don't, I don't quickly jump out and say, "Oh, why God? Why God? Why God?" Because I don't know what that person is doing in his closet. When I heard about this ill-fated crash, uh, chopper, I the first thing that I said was that, "Oh, I hope this guy doesn't have parents," because <laughs> I know it to be hard. It's, it's a hard one. It's a compound tragedy. So, um, for those of us who are still here, who are alive, for those of you there who are making policies, remember, God answers prayers. Remember, God answers prayers. Nigerians are crying to God. And trust me, he will answer, he's answering. Even the scripture made it to be clear that when the poor, he hears the cry of the poor. So be careful what you do. Be careful the policies you do out. Recently, we had um, Femi Fallon or SAN said, Tinubu gave some money to governor over, over 100 billion naira distributed to governor for COVID. It is where the governor this last December for COVID. COVID that happened over two years back. So, whatever you do, whatever I, will, I do, I will reap. Whatever you do, you will reap. That's just, it just, it's just as a simple life uh, 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 law. Okay? When, what you plant, or what you sow, you reap. You can't, you can't plant corn and reap tomatoes. No. You can't plant a yam and reap cocoa yam. They're the same family of yam, yam, uh -huh, but they are different. So whatever you sow, you will reap. So please, people, let me know your thoughts in this um, in the comment section. Do you think this is about God answering Nigeria's prayer with all the information I've given out there? Once again, ah, my heart goes to his parents, the parents of the wife. You know, the other three children, they don't deserve all this. You know, they don't deserve all this. Nobody deserves to die the way they do. They did. But why are we to question God? All right, people, I'm going to talk to you so soon. Unfortunately, no matter what investigation is, is carried out, they say the investigation will take like three years. Trust me, this. they will only see technical stops. They can't see all those, they can't see anything spiritual. If what this anonymous uh, uh, claim is what happened, then we will see. If it is about the God factor, then that means nothing will be seen in the investigation. Thank you so much. Uh, demons cannot be seen on this street. <laughs> Alright, people, I'm going to talk to you again very soon. and. Um, Take care of yourself, take care of one another. Whatever you sow, you will reap. Be good to yourself and to others. I love you. Bye.